for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I am a shameless fan of getting free stuff. Especially free tactical stuff that I actually have a use for. And what we have here is the newest offering from Through Night. And after asking for quite a while, they have finally sent me a tactical flashlight. There is but one minor flaw that is easily overlooked, and that is... It's not in my colors. I don't, I don't know what color that... You would even call that it's a brown. Anyway, that's just uh, me being picky. What we have here is a rail-mounted tactical flashlight, which is fabulous. Um, I have one on my smart gun that has proved problematic, and so um, I, if they have this in black, I might actually just go ahead and acquire it for reasons. It is very, very simple. Unlike the one I currently have, which has way too many features that don't work right and led to issues at an event, this one has no such issues. This has an button that has two functions. Either push it and it turns on, or you hold it and it turns on, and when you let go, it turns off. So push to leave it on, push to turn it off, push and hold, turn off. That's it. That's all the features it has. And that's all you really need in a tactical flashlight. You don't need strobes. You don't need different settings. You need simplicity because in a tactical setting, you don't want to be fiddling with it or get the wrong settings or anything like that, which is what happened with the other one. I ended up uh, strobing somebody at an event and they were in fact photosensitive. So I looked like the schmuck that I was and it uh, was yeah, anyway, this, this is lovely. Very easy to attach. I was actually surprised at how easy it was to attach. It doesn't require any tools. You've got a thumb screw that tightens the rail attachment here. And then this is just clip on, it's plastic. The button can come out and you can mount it in some other way with double-sided tape or Velcro or whatever you needed. Uh, or you can simply put it in here and then it simply clips to your rail, your Picatinny rail quite easily, as I shall demonstrate with this blaster, because it's one of the few ones I have that actually has rails in the places you would want this. Um, I'm going to attach the flashlight under the barrel, unscrew it all the way, and then it will just push and you can clip it on and then tighten it down. Very simple. Uh, attachment there, and then this, like I said, simply clips onto your Picatinny rail. It just locks on. Very simple. And now, from your your position where you'd be holding the blaster, you can push a hold to turn on, let go, push to leave on, push to turn off. Push and hold, push off. Fabulous. So simple, so intuitive. I dig it. Very much so. There is, as far as I know, no non- rail attached option, or it did not come with one. It did come with your usual actual charging cable and your usual extra rubber parts, O-rings, and charging cover, which are, I, I still am baffled that they do that. It really, like I, it's the little details like that that make all the difference. Because eventually that, um, if, you, if you charge this a lot, eventually that cover is gonna wear out and they give you a replacement. Same thing with the O-ring. O-rings eventually wear out and so, they give you replacement O-rings. Um, it does use uh, um, an 18650 battery, so if the battery does go dead, you can, in fact, replace it. Pretty, pretty schnazzy. I am, with the exception of the color, which I might actually be able to do something about, um, it's exactly what I was looking for. Um, one thing I would love to see, I need to get one that has a red light filter, but uh, for what it is, it's fantastic. Take a look at the instructions, make sure I'm not actually missing anything, and then we'll go take it out and uh, shine a rant around my yard. Constant on, momentary on, recharge. Yep, no, that's it. That's all the features it comes with. Um, and that's, like I said, all that you'd really want for a tactical flashlight. For the for the other carry ones, I like that they have various settings and features and all of that, but for this, I want simple. Simple is good, simple is reliable, simple doesn't fail in the field. So let's go shine the light around and then we'll come back. I'm here in the dark with the barking dogs, apparently. And we're gonna give this a try. So this flashlight only has the one setting, which is on. And it's, uh, 
quite bright, really. It's really fairly impressive given the size, which is, well, it's, I've come to expect that from through night flashlights. Now, there are two features of the button. Right now, it's just on. You push the button and you let go and it turns on. Push it again, it turns off, on, off, fairly straightforward. If, however, you press and hold, then as soon as you let go, it turns off, which is very handy. If you're just wanting to do a quick sweep and you don't want to have to push the button again, just push and hold, push, let go. Push to stay on. Now I'm not pushing the button anymore and push it to turn back off. Fairly straightforward, fairly simple. I like the controls. There's really nothing to go wrong. You turn it on, you turn it off. You hold, you let go. That works. Why am I talking in the dark? Let's go back to the bench. So yeah, it's again for the size, incredibly bright. Um, it is noticed, of course, that the, the barrel gets in the way because of how long the barrel is. If you didn't have a long barrel, you wouldn't have that kind of V at the top of the, that's that beam. That's obviously not part of the flashlight. That's the barrel getting in the way. But yeah, I like it. Um, I'm genuinely tempted to see if I could paint it. Maybe a, a metallic orange. I, I think, I'm pretty sure they come in different colors. They just sent me this one, which is so close. I just don't have anything that it matches. But there are ways to deal with that. And I would love it if there was a red light filter. I do have one of their flashlights where it has a removable uh, red light filter that can be screwed on. And I, it's a shame this doesn't have that because that would have been the one additional feature I would have liked to have seen would have been a red light filter because of most of the places where I go. If I'm gonna be using a flashlight, it's better to have red light filter than uh, white because uh, red or white will destroy people's night vision and is very jarring when you're at an event like Afterworlds or you know a, a nighttime game or something. Uh, they generally require or request that you have red light filters so you don't, you know, aren't being unnecessary. But anyway, there it is. This is I don't think I ever mentioned the name. This is the Rattel. Rattle? Rattel. Rattel. R-A-T-E-L. Link will be down in the description, of course. If you're looking for a good tactical flashlight, um, I, and, and if you like this color or if they have other colors, I would genuinely recommend this one of the various ones that I've seen and played with. I really do like this one. Um, the ease of installation, the eve of being able to swap it around, and the simplicity of the functions are, are just really solid. So, there you have it. My thanks to Through Night for finally sending me a tactical flashlight. Don't worry about the color. I can deal with that. I have the technology to change the color of things. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs>